Welcome everybody. It's June 17th. This is the Santa Cruz Works Clinic, How to Adapt to the Future of Work, uh, brought to you and hosted by Hoilu. All right, well, let's, uh, let's kick this off. Um, so I guess like many of you, I haven't worked out of an office since like early 2020. But if I were to pull up my phone right now, I bet you there would probably be a few pictures of whiteboards there. And so that's something that we're seeing that we see that there's always been, unfortunately, this disconnect between where we brainstorm, where we come up with ideas, uh, and where we actually execute and do the work. And there's really a lot of overhead and there's a big disconnect between these two steps. Um, let's go to the next slide. And we're seeing that, yes, of course, being all remote and having to communicate over virtual meeting platforms like Zoom, um, this disconnect has definitely been amplified, but being remote is not what created this. And uh, next slide, please. So for these, the, the thing about this new world of ours is it's definitely here to stay, right? Overwhelming um, majority of companies plan to have their workforces basically be hybrid. So some are gonna be remote, some are gonna be in the office. Um, a significant part of uh, people are gonna be working remotely basically indefinitely. We're seeing big investments being made into the virtual collaboration technologies. And more importantly, uh, analysts like Gartner predict that those who are investing into these virtual collaboration technologies today are going to be winners of uh, tomorrow. So let's go to the next slide. Uh, another big thing that I wanna point out is that these new ways of working, it's not just for a few startups in San Francisco. You're seeing bellwether companies around the world that are embracing these uh, new ways to work. And next slide. So our mission here at Huelu is to empower these distributed teams to take their ideas and to turn them into action. And just to give you a little bit of a history on Huelu. So we actually started as a PhD project where a group of really bright user interface researchers in Europe decided to come up with a new way to collaborate. And after doing a lot of research and figuring out like what would be the best paradigm to build that new collaboration path, they choose the whiteboard as that paradigm. And so they actually built a, it was a hardware smart whiteboard uh, where companies and, and teams would collaborate on product development and other projects. And a lot of big multinationals became the research partners uh, in that work. And then pretty much everyone who became a research partner um, then just wanted to buy the, the product and to keep using it. And so that's how Hoilu has been started as a company. And that's what we've been doing. And the reason a lot of you probably haven't heard about us is we were in this hardware world and we only released a software as a service uh, version of our product uh, just over a year ago. It was in around uh, May, 2020. Um, let's go to the next one. And so really what we do is we enable you to run and collaborate on any program or initiative from anywhere in the world. So from brainstorming to organizing to bringing everything in the same place, um, Coilu is really your central hub for collaboration. Um, we're seeing really great results across the board within the organization. So for individual contributors, it's really great to, for example, for someone who is remote to not be at a disadvantage compared to someone who is in the office. Um, the managers and executives really like Hoilu because it makes preparing for group meetings and group discussions uh, a lot easier. Uh, and it's also easier to keep everyone accountable. And uh, even IT people love us because since our history is really rooted with working with some of the largest uh, enterprises in the world, um, 
we are very easy to deploy to large groups of people. And we've been building our safety and security features basically from day one. So we are an industrial strength solution. And the three big buckets of use cases that we're seeing in an enterprise, so we are general management, consumer products, and software development. So we're seeing a lot of use cases where, for example, our CEO runs the weekly meeting uh, in Hoylu every week. And it's really great because everyone can participate. We can take notes um, in both like structured and unstructured way. And it's just like a lot more convenient than having a really long text doc where you capture people's ideas and to-dos. Uh, we're seeing a lot of, can we go back to that one? Um, we're seeing a lot of, uh, so any type of product development where you need to lay out maybe a bunch of blueprints or uh, design ideas, and you can like annotate those things and have people collaborate on them. That's another big use case that we're seeing. Uh, and another big use case is uh, software development. So because we have native uh, agile project management features, uh, as well as integrations with uh, issue tracking systems like Jira, uh, we're seeing a lot of our customers using Coilu for, for software development. And uh, as you just saw in the, let's go to the next slide. So as I mentioned before, we're working with some of the largest uh, multinationals uh, around the world with some of the biggest companies. Um, and I would say that our, our biggest secret is our customer success team. So please go next slide. Um, so all of you who are attending right now, um, you're welcome to, uh, of course, uh, sign up for a free trial of Hoilu and we'll actually upgrade you to the enterprise version for uh, 30 days. Um, but the coolest thing is our customer success team is experienced in facilitating workshops and discussions and really structuring uh, processes for uh, Fortune 100 companies. And, um, and, 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 and we can be as hands-on as you want us to be. So it's gonna be your resource. They can help you, whether it's just facilitating a workshop where you wanna structure a recurring process. Um, we really provide the, the true white glove customer experience, very high touch. And uh, with this, I'm going to hand it over to Portia and she's going to take us uh, through a bit of a demo and show us some Fortune 100 use cases that, uh, that she works with. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Eugene. So Eugene is our VP of Marketing at Hoilu. Um, definitely joined the team quite a bit ago and we've really had such a great time kind of um, reinvigorating our marketing. And a part of that is kind of meeting some of our participants where they are. And so thanks Doug and Matt for this opportunity to be here with Santa Cruz Works. We're excited. Uh, we love kind of networking and tech communities. Uh, you guys are usually the on the cutting edge of technology and looking for solutions just like ours. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm the customer experience director at Hoilu. I work and kind of manage our customer success team in the US. And so what that involves is day in, day out, I am kind of spending time with Fortune 100 companies. I am joining their calls, their meetings as almost a consultant, and I'm helping them run remote meetings. Um, they come to us with an idea, and it's my job to facilitate that. So just to give you an idea of what a meeting can look like in Hoilu, I have dropped in the chat the link to our Hoilu workspace. Um, it is free to join as a guest. So if you'd like to participate, please do. But using Hoilu is as simple as sticky notes. Um, the facilitators are really the ones who are going to be building out this 55,000 page workspace. Um, you can see lots of space. Um, but really, when you come to Hoilu, you will be led page to page. And so it's very presenter friendly. Um, so one of my favorite things to do with people is simply just have them interact easily. So what's your name, title, and what are your book are you currently reading? I am rereading Never Split the Difference. 
Um, so we love doing just quick and easy warm ups. These are the things that are going to teach people to kind of use the tool and interact, but it's going to break down those barriers that I think we're all seeing with the Zoom. Zoom is wonderful, um, you know, but we're seeing Zoom fatigue people check out. I think we were doing research for this and my colleague, Steve, who uh, is reading the qualified sales leader, <laughs> um, he said, but people's attention spans tends to kind of move within, you have six seconds before they're, you're gonna, they're gonna decide whether they're going to pay attention or not. Um, that's killer, especially in this world that we're in today because we are inundated with screens. So, um, Definitely love to give examples of how people are using our tools. So um, let's get started. So the future of work, I think we've all seen the shift to remote work. Um, I know for us at Hoilu, we are definitely falling kind of here, right? almost remote full time. Uh, we have an office in Orlando where I live. And so I have my team income come into the office at least once a week, but really that's flexible. Um, there's some weeks where we don't come in for quite a while. It's really just when we kind of want those team moments. And we're seeing that many offices are kind of staying there. Um, and that's where they're gonna live or they're paring down their big offices and they're gonna hot desk. So. What does that mean for the workforce today? We need to adapt. We need to figure out our digital strategy in order to kind of move forward and have the same amount of productivity that we were having um, while everyone was in the office together in these meeting rooms. We have to come back to that. And I think Zoom did a great job initially, but I feel like we've plateaued. Um, I feel like productivity is plateaued. And unless you kind of are willing to upgrade your remote work life um, with some level of technology, which we all know that you guys are, you know, the people who are hopefully making those decisions and kind of recommending them that you need a tool that's going to give you the space to interact in real time. So um, as a part of my value, I would love to give you a peek, a uh, sneak peek into kind of what I'm doing with some of the world's largest organizations. Um, I will name drop if I can, but really these are just sterilized workspaces that are either taken from meetings that I've helped them design for their own teams or um, things that we do internally that we've seen a lot of traction on. Um, so one of the favorite things Eugene was talking about our weekly meeting at Hoilu, uh, we have our entire company come into this workspace. Um, this is a sterilized version, but this workspace is a weekly meeting starting January 1st, 2020, and it it runs till today. So we can look back each week and see all the content, all the documentation, everything that lives in that workspace is going to be accessible for any kind of any team member who wants to come back and look. Um, so you have that kind of historical piece of the data that can sometimes get lost. I know Slack, I really have trouble kind of finding that sequential piece um, when I'm looking for something. So really being able to come here and see it is so helpful. Um, we have the ability to kind of bring in PowerPoints and embed them so they live in here. I no longer have to have the file myself. Um, I have images. Um, I can have breakout areas if I want to have interaction level interaction with my team. Uh, we have a Kanban here so I can do work tracking. Um, and then kind of one of my favorite things is we love to take confidence votes. So these are going to be kind of taking the temperature of the team um, and giving them, giving you the ability to know is everybody on board with my, with what we talked about today, um, especially being a software company. Um, it's really important that our team feels confident that they can accomplish what they have agreed to. Um, so this is just an example, again, of a weekly meeting. Um, what we're seeing is these virtual meeting spaces 
are upgrading the experience for all of our teams. Um, and this is at companies uh, big and small. Um, and then our one of my sessions that I did this morning was this called Lightning Decision Jam. Um, and it was a problem solving workspace. We did this with leadership at um, Procter & Gamble along with some consultants. And so what they did is they were leveraging the expertise of their consultants to kind of go through this prescribed list to come out with some end all action items. So this was a really cool experience. Um, this was full of sticky notes this morning. And so we really got to deliver a ton of value and they did it in 90 minutes. I don't know if you've been on a call with executives, but it's really hard to get anything kind of done without everybody having their words to say. Um, so we really got to see value come out of this by everybody interacting on sticky notes and only the main points that were then voted on and prioritized being the ones that they discussed. Um, and they did this all in 90 minutes. They came out with action items in order to kind of bring to the future of what they like to call industry 4.0. Um, some other pieces that we do, um, dependencies among teams. This is a huge one that we've really seen is bringing value to remote work, um, seeing how teams are working together and seeing what kind of collaboration mapping you maybe need to do. Um, how do certain teams kind of view uh, working with other teams? What is that cross collaboration and is it working or is it not working? Um, I think those are all the things and later I'll kind of talk about data. Um, and then here, this is kind of um, using the principles of lean planning. Hoilu has a pull planning module, which is project management. Um, and this one is specifically for construction. But you can see here, we have all of these tickets. They're kind of statusing their work. They have weekly meetings um, where stakeholders and uh, teams are aligning. And we've really seen within these sessions, they've been able to cut down on waste. They have been able to cut down on um, kind of, you know, safety issues have definitely decreased since this. Um, and it's really helped accountability. And the great thing is, is this workspace is available to every single person in the field from the owner of the project all the way down to the electrical subcontractor who needs to go in and say, yes, this task was completed today. So we really see value in kind of breaking down those silos. Um, and then even something as high touch as um, kind of onboarding. I know I created this and we use this internally. Um, how much time do you spend with a new hire? How many times have you been partnered with a new hire? And they take a lot of time. Um, so one thing we love to do at Hoilu is kind of give them resources and do it in a way that they can have it from day one of beginning at our company until throughout their journey. And they can improve upon this workspace. It's theirs. Their manager has access to it. So if they need to have that communication communication um, in that touch point, it can kind of all be stored. Um, and it's really a great space for teams to kind of interact with that level of asynchronous. So I can come in and add a note for my new hire, Ahmed, and he can he can answer it on his own time, or we can come back to it as an agenda item for during our sync or our weekly sync. Um, I see we have a question. How do we come up with the product name for Hoilu? <laughs> um, Hoilu is kind of a meaning of a Nordic folktale. Um, we are a Swedish company and it's kind of a superpower. Um, it's kind of meaning that you are um, working together for greater good. So um, you can visit our website. We've got the story there. Um, I think, you know, just to kind of summarize, so we have some time for a Q&A. Um, 
so what do we need to gain an edge with the move towards remote work and a hybrid work environment, which I think we've seen most companies, that's going to be their goal. Um, really, the biggest thing is to start, right? You have to start looking at it and deciding what's going to be right for your company, um, understanding what you need to scale. Are companies really able to digitize all of their processes? Is there something that they need to do to kind of make that happen quicker, faster, more efficiently? Um, really looking at your people and what their experience is. Um, are they enjoying it? Are they struggling with it? Um, and not every company is gonna be a one size fits all. So you really have to customize this for how your workers work, how your workers interact and what enjoy are they and what generation they belong to because that's huge introducing new tools to kind of an older generation you're gonna get a lot of pushback introducing them to kind of a younger generation you're gonna get a much better kind of um introduction there and a lot less pushback so we've definitely seen that kind of making sure during that analysis process that this is going to be correct for your team is really key to implementing them, which kind of moves to our next point, implementing those improvements, developing those processes, and then you really have to measure them. You can't just kind of set it and forget it. You always have to be measuring and improving upon all of the pieces that you put into place. And that's kind of what we've seen using Hoilu is you do this once and your workspace looks one way and then you iterate on it and you upgrade, you know, maybe your brainstorm needs to be a couple more pages and you need to have some more in-depth questions and follow through. So, um, and within this workspace, if you want to come join us, you can actually read the article. It is a Deloitte study that I got most of my information from and now we'll stop for the Q and A. Um, so our connection between Sweden and Austria is that's just where our company started. Um, like Eugene mentioned, our PhD study, what Hoilu is actually based on, um, our large wall experience that was started at Linz, in Linz, Austria at a university. Um, and then do we have any other Q&A? Yeah, we actually do. Let me give you one from, um, we actually have a few questions that were submitted, but one that was just asked right now, do you see a migration away from more traditional collaboration apps such as Google Docs? Um, I mean, I think we're always going to have document-based work and collaboration, um, but I think people that were behind the curve with COVID um, that got pushed to remote work, I think that they adapted, right? And they went to a simple solution. And I think that, piece was great for a subset of people, but there was something missing from the visual collaboration and the freeform piece. I mean, how many of you have ever went into a meeting room and, oh man, I wish I had a whiteboard or you had your big sticky paper, right? Those kind of that freeform drawing, that freeform mind mapping, that need is never going to go away, right? That need for notes and doing that collaboratively on Google Doc just isn't the same. So I do feel that we, we're not going to replace Google Docs, but we're definitely going to upgrade them and make it a different experience for teams. And so it touches on creativity and really brings your work to a higher level. Perfect. Okay, so you yeah. mentioned, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Just just to build on that, uh, Portia, can you show the part where we uh, where we embed documents? So, like it, another thing about so yeah, as Portia said, like Google Docs is not going away, and it's not our goal to replace it. But typically, there is a lot more than a Google Doc to a project, right? Like Google Doc is usually some sort of an input, and so what we see Hoyle being used for, what we see a lot of our customers are doing is they either embed or they import whatever the documents that they're working on. And so this is like a higher level collaboration where they figure out, okay, well, let's say we're working on a new product launch. Well, we need to do some sort of a write-up. So that's gonna be in the Google doc. That's, we need to do some sort of a presentation. Maybe we need to do uh, a video, right? So there's specific outputs that you define 
And on those outputs, like you work with whatever, either it's a text editor or a video editor, right? Like you name it. But the whole project and the overall collaboration, you still need a place for it, right? And back when we were in the office, it would almost happen organically, right? Like you shout to someone over the cube wall from you and you have a quick conversation and you go into a, a meeting room, you doodle something on a whiteboard, you take a picture of it. So this is what Hoylo is, right? Like it's really to, um, you know, to both create an alternative for that type of a collaboration for the remote world, uh, but also to enable both synchronous and asynchronous collaboration. So now with, you know, anybody can put in notes, any, anybody can, uh, you know, ask questions. Like, yes, it's great when we're all sitting here having a meeting, um, but another way of using Hoylet we're seeing is it just becomes this ongoing place where people go to see, oh, well, what is the status of the Google Doc? Let me see. Oh, I think it should also include, you know, this, that, the other thing. So it's it's kind of like bigger than uh, than the documents. Great, thank you, Eugene. Um, okay, so next question: What is involved in onboarding onboarding or training a new company on your platform? Is there a process that goes about that when someone signs up? Yeah, so we have, obviously Eugene talked about our SaaS offerings. So we have um, a couple different ways we do it. So we have free users, you get access to three workspaces, which are these 55,000 page um, spaces for any kind of interaction with your team. So that's kind of free, that's self-guided. Um, we have support support.hoilo.com, it's going to be our knowledge base, lots of videos. So we've really seen the value of kind of product-led growth there. Um, and then as a plus user, which is kind of our $8 tier, you get unlimited workspaces, um, that kind of, uh, you have the ability to engage with our customer success team um, minimally but we will host kind of a single meeting with you and help you work through kind of designing a workspace and that flow. We host trainings usually monthly that are kind of open for all. And those are kind of, I like to call them my office hours. <laughs> so you can pop in, chat with me and my team, ask questions and kind of get the help you need in that way or through enterprise accounts. Um, we offer full service, high touch customer onboarding. So we do full implementation depending on the size of your company. Um, when we work with our enterprise companies, uh, we have ongoing trainings for as long as you'll want us. And for small businesses, it's usually between three to six trainings within the first year, dedicated stri strictly to your use cases. Great, so definitely not left on their own by any means. No, we definitely see the value of kind of partnering with our customers and partnering with our users. And, you know, we definitely know that this is a new space, right? It's very hard to kind of even put a name to this and realize you need something like this. Uh, what would you search in Google when you were searching for this, right? And we feel like we're so much beyond an online whiteboard. Um, I see I have a question, is sort, Hoyle sort of a digital obey room? Absolutely. So we like to call this like a dashboard. Um, I actually have kind of a sample that I can show you if you want to connect afterwards, you can email me. Um, but really kind of linking out to all of those other programs, clicking here takes me directly to our website, to our sign up page. Um, we really want to make it almost that resource and that dashboard that people can come and even do team announcements, right? Somebody had a baby, we posted it in our team dashboard and, you know, everybody was able to celebrate it a little bit more than just simply, oh, you know, congratulations and Slack and that whole thread. Great. Okay, next question. What upgrades or new features do you see coming down the line? Oh, so our secret roadmap. Um, I yeah, we want to love... know the secrets. <laughs> hey, we don't mind. Um, so we actually have an MVP being released now that is a JIRA integration. Um, so we are going to actually be able to let you status your JIRA tickets and cards um, directly in Hoilu and kind of plan them out. Um, 
I know I showed you guys an example of this earlier, but like a dependency board. So each of these would be a ticket in JIRA. And our goal in probably by end of the year is that it's not just JIRA, right? It's any ticketing system that you have, version one, um, DevOps, Microsoft, whatever it is that you'll be able to click on this ticket and actually edit it natively in JIRA and have that connection tied back so that um, it cuts out the manual work of this agile planning piece that so many companies are adapting to, even that aren't kind of software development companies. Okay. Uh, okay, next question. It talks about, is there a capacity to the amount of people that could be in a certain group working on a whiteboard or working on a project? Uh, we have seen two people and we have seen up to 500. So wow. people sometimes like to use this space as their kind of webinar conference. Um, and just like I'm doing now, presenting from it, giving you guys the ability to interact, uh, throw emojis at me, tell me if you want me to talk about something more or less. So we've definitely even seen that. So really anything you want to do, we, we can help you do it. Okay, um, we, have, we have a question in the Q&A. What about integration with MS Project? Yeah, that is definitely on the roadmap, something that we want to kind of allow in a much similar way, especially because we work with a lot of enterprise companies and they are baked into, into Microsoft. So um, our goal is to support Microsoft Projects, um, kind of the Atlassian, products, but also, you know, traditionally we even use DevOps ourselves. So we see value in meeting our customers where they are with the programs that they use today. Okay, thank you. Um, you know, and I'm so sorry, you might have answered this already, but I just want to make sure we did. Uh, in the chat, Dagmar asked, on your website, it says it is available for any web enabled advi um, advice. Is it mobile enabled already? Uh, so you can access Foilu through any browser ready application. So simply going to app.foilu.com is going to bring it up on any device, iPad, Microsoft Surface, large format touchscreens. Um, we even have kind of our 16 foot Foilu walls that uh, people use to interact in real time within an office. Great. Okay. Um, and then we have one last, and if you have one more, if we have a little bit of time, so if you have any questions, please put them in the Q&A. We have another question right now, integration with other project planning tools, such as Monday Smartsheets. Yeah, I think Smartsheets is definitely something that we're seeing a lot of our customers using. Um, obviously, we are focusing on kind of the JIRA and Atlassian, and we want to get that to where it's going. So, um, maybe 2022. <laughs> Great. Okay. So that looks like that is it for our questions. If somebody wants to get a hold of you, a lot of times we have questions, but it's after the fact, or they couldn't ask, um, what's the best way of getting a hold of you? Yeah. So you can reach out directly to me at pscott at hoilu.com. You can head to hoilu.com and fill out a general inquiry form that goes straight to my inbox. Um, and honestly, for hanging out with us for, you know, on a Thursday, we would love to offer you guys um, open access to our enterprise account, which oh, wow. is going to include some premium modules for pull planning and agile planning. Um, and we can do that for 30 days um, and we'll even help you kind of host a meeting, create a workspace for you. Um, my team does this all day, so we would love to extend that to you and, you know, anybody from Santa Cruz Works, just let us know. Great. Okay, we'll put all that information at the bottom of the video when we post it in the next great. couple of days. But thank you. You did a great presentation. Q&A was perfect. Now I will move it back or give it back the controls to Doug. Hey, thank you. Um, and again, thank you, Portia and Eugene. That was really great. Uh, I, I, did, I forgot to mention that, you know, one of the reasons that I was so interested in, in your solution is because I know a lot of people that work at Google and Facebook and others, and uh, one of them had said that during COVID, the, everything was working just fine with one exception. When you walk into the Google headquarters, there used to be big walls where people could write ideas and 
share ideas and and uh, and collaborate and can't do that currently very well on Zoom. So you guys have a, a fantastic uh, solution. So thank you again for presenting. And with that, I'm going to...